Hey guys, hello. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Tracy and I'm with Tracy's Fancy. Um, I'm on both Facebook and Instagram right now and I am coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. Um, my business is a furniture painting and I'm also a health and wellness coach as well, but tonight I'm here painting with you guys, doing super, super, super basic. Hello there, Instagram. Thank you for joining. Hello, Brittany and Melissa. Thank you for coming back on. I just wrapped up over on Dixie Bell's uh, main page. I'm a Dixie Bell brand ambassador as well. That is the paint that I'll be using. Guys, tonight I'm using one brush and one color paint, and that is it, which is pretty nutty because I am a pretty detailed and whimsical painter, uh, but my client brought me both this Bombay chest that I just wrapped up over here. You can see right there. Um, she brought it to me and wanted me to paint it a solid black for her tween's room. So I thought, you know what? I never do something this simple and why don't I go live? And it's also a color that I don't have to prime. All I had to do was clean the piece really, really well. I used White Lightning, which is by Dixie Bell. Um, got any gunk off of it, took the hardware off, had had hardware on it right here. The hardware is actually um, looked on the Bombay piece, looked like this. This is what it looked like before. And this is what we're going with. So this is the difference right here. It was just a black, like an iron color before. And now we are going with a gold. Um, and it looks like it's been black waxed, but it's actually just been washed with the same black caviar paint that we've got right here. So I paint it black or paint it. Actually, I sprayed it gold. I sprayed it gold. And then I coated it in an entire coat of black paint. And then I took a baby wipe and I wiped all the black paint back off yet all of the dark stayed in the cracks and crevices and that is what i did so i did not use wax um so that's it i've got a brush and i'm ready to get going my brush my paint has dried a little bit so i'm just gonna spritz my brush here a little bit kind of reactivate my paint i've got a, a rag here with me i'm gonna tilt y'all down over here on facebook a little bit and i'm gonna get started okay um if y'all have any questions let me know um uh, I am going to do a super light coat. This is going to be really fast. We're going to paint the entire piece, uh, top to bottom, all the sides, right here on live with you guys, just so that you can see how easy it really, it really it is. I don't want you overthinking a project, especially if you're new. Oh, I didn't have my microphone plugged in. Especially if you're new and you've never painted before. Um, yay, Laurel, I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you for joining over here. Uh, on my Facebook and on my Instagram as well. And you guys, you can share this. Uh, if you've got anyone that you know that has been thinking about doing some painting and you've seen people painting online and you just haven't had the guts to just go for it, I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to uh, step out of your comfort zone and do it. It's super, super easy and it's very relaxing. It's a lot of fun. And the beauty of paint is I did this this exact, these two pieces for my client about, I don't know, five or six years ago, I'm thinking, um, in this kind of a mocha color with a wash. And, um, you know, when you're ready to change it, you just change it, you just paint it. Now I am gonna take these drawers out, don't worry. And I am painting in different directions just because I'm letting my, I want the brush to get in all the cracks and crevices. And then my last coat, very lightly, I will go back and forth just like this. Oh. Oh goodness that would be me on Instagram on my husband's phone and uh, I, I put do not disturb on <laughs> but obviously he does not have his settings where everyone is blocked so who uses do not disturb on their phone well when you do a live video you need to use do not disturb and you need to go into your settings and make sure that you have it where like your favorites can't still get through because even though you put do not disturb some people will still allow their favorites to come through that must have been someone on matt's favorites so you see what i did here i just pulled the drawer out and i painted the top and the sides just like that and then i'm just going to set it aside i'm going to pull this other one out right here pull this out i'm going to do the same thing you can see that right here on the top it had not been painted the hardware is inside the drawer actually just gonna paint the top of this. This is so quick and so easy. And then I just take my brush just like this and I just tap the sides. 
just like so. Okay, same thing on the other side. And let's hope that person doesn't call us back. <laughs> Long, simple, smooth strokes. The beauty of Dixie Belle paint, guys, also, um, I'm not here right now to sell you paint, but one thing that makes, that um, helps you to feel so successful with your projects is using a good paint. So if you have tried painting and you are not using um, what I call a boutique style paint and you're just getting like a craft chalk paint, um, especially the ones that they sell at the hardware store and you're feeling like your projects are looking a little rough, there is a difference y'all. There really is. I hate to say it, but there's a difference. So um, a good paint can make all the difference in the world. A good brush helps as well, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Does anybody have any questions? Um, what else can I tell you? So light, simple coat. I call my first coat the scratch coat. This is the scratch coat. Uh, although this paint does cover really well in one coat, but I usually try to go really light with it. I usually add quite a bit of water on this round um, with just a spritz with the sprayer. I'm not going to paint the top surface right now because y'all can't see up there anyway. I'm going to get the whole front done and we're going to get started on these sexy legs. She got some sexy legs. Actually, let's spin it. Hello, Lonnie. Hi, hon. How are you? Hi, Sue. Uh, I never go live on Instagram. I say that every time I do. I'm like, I don't know why I don't go live on Instagram more often. Um, here's my spritzer bottle. Just spray in the side of the furniture just a little bit. And look, you can paint any direction you want. Any direction you want. The key is when you are done going all directions and getting um, all of the coverage that you want in that area, then you need to come back and straighten your strokes out. You might even need to add a little bit of water to it and just get up there on the top edge, and bring them out just like this. You can even spritz it a little bit again and that just smooths it out just like that. Okay. Uh, what type of spray paint did you use on the hardware? That's a really good question. You were watching me over on Dixie Belle page. Okay, so let me get it for you. I'll show you. It's my favorite spray. It's my favorite gold spray paint. I love it. It is called, it's by Krylon, by Krylon. And it is called Foil Metallic. You see that? Foil Metallic. Now they have just a metallic gold but this is foil metallic. It's very, very, very brilliant when you spray it. So that's it. Dries fast. Um, <laughs> you're so sweet, Lonnie. It dries really, really fast, and uh, but it's it has a really strong uh, fume, guys, so you need to make sure. That's what I, I love about uh, working with Dixie Ball Paint. They have, you know, no VOCs, low VOCs, so, um, that spray paint, you need to make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area because that spray is really fumey. So just like I said over on the other page, I will coat all of this in one coat and then I will do a second coat and then I'm going to let it dry overnight. I think I said 24 hours, but I never let anything dry 24 hours. So I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then I will come back out here tomorrow and start my gator hide. I'll start doing my gator hide, which is Dixie Belle's hardest top coat. This is going to be in a young girl's room. She is a tween and uh, her mom said she's really hard on furniture. So I don't want to coat it with just our uh, satin or, you know, satin or flat top coat. I want to use um, our hardiest top coat, which is gator hide. Nancy, you were so distracted I forgot to come here. <laughs> do you ever spray your pieces? No, Stacy, I don't. I, I have a sprayer, I do. And I have sprayed them before. So uh, a long time ago, a, a lady who, she's a, a friend of mine, I actually have done a lot of work for her. Uh, she spent a ton of money on these brand spanking new beds. Um, brand new and they weren't the color she wanted. They could, have, they could have custom ordered her the beds, but it would have taken too long if she didn't have the patience. 
And s- these beds were ridiculously expensive, y'all. They're like eight, ten feet tall headboards, carved. She ordered them from this super fancy, ornate furniture place in Austin. And they were, I forgot what color they were. But anyway, she wanted them white. <laughs> so like, oh my gosh. So she had these beds that are more expensive than any bed I've ever painted and sold brought to me brand new and then trusted me to paint them so I I didn't want to brush paint them so I did I sprayed them so Matt set up a whole uh, sprayer here in the shop for me you know we hung plastic and um, and I sprayed and it's 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 very efficient or well actually you do use a lot of paint but you do it quickly. It's efficient in the fact that it's it's fast. It's time efficient. <laughs> but I just don't enjoy it. I don't I don't I don't get satisfaction from it. And the whole reason I do this, the whole reason I started doing this and the whole reason I do it is because of the way it makes me feel. I get a lot of satisfaction from this and and this fun. I, I'm not. I don't usually paint in all these directions, y'all. I'm just showing you that you can. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I could go in other directions. Uh, it, you just get better coverage quicker, <laughs> as long as you don't forget to go back and straighten out your strokes. So anyway, that's why I don't spray, and I don't even spray uh, kitchen cabinets. I don't. I don't do kitchen cabinets anymore. I used to. Those are just way more work than this old lady wants to do anymore. I just don't want to work that hard anymore. I mean, we did our own. We'll do our own. And I taught, you know, a super easy way to do your own, but it's not like the legit way that cabinet painters like to do. Something's in my brush and it's leaving like a little, you know, if you get like a little piece of lint or something in your brush, sometimes it'll drag on your paint a little bit. Anyway, Caviar is my favorite black. They make two blacks, Midnight Sky and Caviar. Caviar is the darkest of dark. I really honestly can't tell that much of a difference between the two, um, but I like Caviar. It's, it's the, the truest, the truest. Didn't want to cover down there. So I do this real light. Like what you see me doing right here is very light. Just very, very light. Just smoothing out my brush strokes. And that's it. That's coat one. Coat one on Bombay and coat one on nightstand are done. Uh, will you be sealing the hardware with Gator Hide as well? Mm, I hadn't really thought about it, but yeah, probably. Yeah, I probably want him to be shiny. Yeah. Gator Hide, I, I was thinking gloss that I wanted these like ultra shiny, but Gator Hide. Excuse me, Gator Hide has a really good sheen to it. So, hey, Cheryl over here on Instagram. Hi, hun. How are you doing? Good to see you. Um, Dirty Peach. <laughs> is that someone's Instagram name? Oh, my goodness. What is behind that name? Uh, let's see. Nancy saying, does the gold spray you showed us change color after a while? I haven't had that happen, but also because I usually put a gloss clear coat on top of it. So I don't, I don't leave this. I, I know what you're talking about. It's, it's like these that are super, super gold will tarnish. And honestly, the gloss does tone down the, um, what's the word? You know, the, the, the boldness of the gold a little bit when I use the, to the gloss top coat, but any gloss top coat, uh, seals it really well. And I haven't had that happen. Good evening, Miss Linda. Hi, hon. That baby boy is precious. He's meeting his other set of grandparents just like within the last hour or so. They just got there from Dallas. So he is fabulous. Um, I never knew Midnight Sky was considered a black. Yeah, a really dark blue. Actually, they, I mean, they listed under as a black. They do. Um, <laughs> you're like, oops, it's fine. It, I, I agree with you. Uh, to me, it looks like a super, 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 super dark charcoal. Hi again, Miss Nina. Um, so anyway, Nancy, I hope that answers your question about this, that you can use a gloss top coat. So I use, I don't use this on furniture that much, and I only use it, I don't, I just don't use it that much on furniture. I use this more on like my, uh, you know, all the other stuff I paint that's not furniture or walls. <laughs> um, so I just use a gloss top coat on top of it. That has helped me. 
Oh, Lynn, hi, hon. First time watching. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm never on Instagram. That's why. I should do it more often. I should, I should go live on Instagram more often. It looks super dark. Does it look dark to y'all? So I've done one coat of caviar. Um, I've got one coat in my drawers right here. These are my drawers. Let's put them in. Y'all want to put them in? I think this was the top. I think. Maybe it was the bottom. Nope. There we go. There we go. And I remember these pieces, y'all. I think it was about six years ago when I did these pieces for her. I remember. Um, I don't know why that didn't cover right there. Let me just get a little bit with my finger. It's going to be behind the hardware anyway, but I'm not sure why that didn't cover. So y'all, this was so long ago. This was before furniture went up like astro in astronomical in prices on Facebook Marketplace uh, to buy. You're welcome, Nancy. Um, this little thing came with a set. I probably got, this little nightstand came with a set and I probably got the entire bedroom set for like 150 bucks. And then that was like dresser, two nightstands, mirror, uh, probably a headboard. This Bombay piece, now you cannot get on Marketplace or Craigslist or anything like that in San Antonio anymore. Unpainted, needing work. You just can't get them for less than $300. You can't. And I probably paid $75 for that piece like six years ago. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm like belchy. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, anyway, hello from Dallas, Miss Tanya. Dallas ish. I like that. What does that mean? Like, rural outside of Dallas, clearly not Fort Worth because I've made that mistake before. I said someone was from Dallas and they're like, um, I'm from Fort Worth. I'm like, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, let's see, hi from the oven in Phoenix. Mary, isn't that the truth, y'all? It is so freaking hot. Uh, yes, please. I want to learn. Shay, I'm so glad you're here. So Shay, this was a nightstand and a Bombay chest. And um, I have a client who brought them to me. And here's the Bombay chest. Beautiful, right? So I've already done one solid coat of Dixie Bell Black. Um, it's called Caviar. This is it. Gorgeous. I've used one brush, one jar of paint, cleaned them really well, did an entire coat of paint all over both of them. And um, now they're drying. Miss Ashley Blocker, hello, hon. These are for Carrie Provost, Carrie Parsons. Did you know that? Uh, Ashley, you know her, I think, probably. Um, from Fort Worth, there's Elaine. See, we've got Elaine from Fort Worth. And we had our Dallas, Tanya from Dallas-ish <laughs> over here on Instagram. Anyway, I'm going to let these dry. It usually takes about 20 minutes. And um, actually, this piece, let me, let me roll that over. You want me to roll that over? We'll roll this over and start a second coat on this piece. So this is the Bombay chest. I've got it on casters. And we can start putting a second coat on it. Let me move y'all over a little bit like that. And you guys like that. So here we go. I've got my uh, spray bottle. My brush is a little bit dry because it's been sitting here. The beauty about this paint is it just reactivates. So I just spray my brush a little bit. Dip it in my paint just like that. That's it. And putting on my second coat. Now, the first coat was a scratch coat, so you can see through it just a little bit. Um, I also can use my spray bottle. Usually use a mister bottle, but mine is broken. Um, so this allows the paint to just glide around nice and easy all over the piece. Um, and it gives you a, it dries with very, very, when you add water especially, it dries with minimal brush stroke. So you get like a really smooth finish. Now I'm not a brush stroke freak because I am proud to be a furniture painter and to me hand painted is hand painted. So I'm not really after a factory finish um, and this client also knows that. She's had me do many pieces for her. Um, so she's fine with it too. So I'm not like all wigged out about it. Um, but I do like a, a beautiful velvety finish for sure. It's not like I don't care. So I'm only going over half of the drawer right now just because that's what's in the line of view for y'all. For y'all, And I know that the water, when I add water to the paint, it's making the reflection um, of the ring light 
pretty intense. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this last one, and that's it. This, this piece will have two coats on it, because I've already done two coats on the other side. Now, because I did half of the piece, and then doing the other half of the piece for convenience of the live video, um, I will go back and sit directly in front of the piece and do one final third coat all the way from left all the way to right, so that I don't have any kind of break or weird looking uh, brush strokes that are stopping halfway through although I've tried to be super thin about it and, um, but that's just me knowing that I'm on video. And so when you see me going back and forth like this, I'm just, uh, it's super light. Like the brush is like hanging in my hand, like super light, just like this. And I'm doing that super light, just very, very, very fluidly running my brush right over the, I'm not digging into the paint, I'm just running it right over the top surface of the paint, just sort of smoothing it out. You know, kind of like when you make your bed and you get all the wrinkles out of it and then you just kind of walk by and you just like smooth your bed spread out like that. Does anyone do that? Okay, that, there we go, that light's all weird. Um, so that's that. I, okay, I've had, I've given them away. Someone says that they're surprised, Debbie. Debbie said she's surprised I don't have multiple Mr. Bottles. Okay, so I have given away Mr. Bottles um, and I was down to one. Um, because I give things to people because I just do that. I can't stand it uh, if they say they don't have something. And I was down to one and um, and then they ran out. They haven't had any, in, excuse me, in stock. And then I dropped it. It fell right off my workbench. And it still works, but when I spray, then all this extra water comes out of it. <laughs> like that doesn't work. That is not working. Shay, yeah, you see, that was so easy. There's just little, like, little tiny techniques that um, when, you, when you start following someone and you just, like, watch their techniques, you'll just learn, and you'll pick up on little tricks that are super simple. So now, like I said, I'll let this dry, and I'll come back. I'll sit right in front of it. I'll do one more very thin coat with water and paint, and I'll go all the way from left to right, all the way. That'll be my final coat. And I really don't need a third coat, but it's because I broke it up in half for the video. So uh, I'll do one final coat like that, and then I'll let it dry overnight, and I'll come out here tomorrow morning, and I'll use my applicator pad and a product that we have called Gator Hide that's uh, water repellent and very, very, very hardy top coat for uh, this little girl that's going to have this piece of furniture, and I don't want her, you know, dinging it up. So um, that is that. You are so welcome, Recreations Home Decor. Thank you. Thank you for watching on Instagram. I need to go live over here more often. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Leslie, it's going to be super, super basic. I don't know what is up with the light. Go there. Oh, oh, there. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a wonderful Wednesday night. Um, Go find some paint, get a brush, make something beautiful. Uh, follow me on my page, Tracy's Fancy, both Facebook and Instagram. Check out my blog, tracysfancy.com. I would love to have you join me there as well. Um, I do a blog every single week. Um, yes, Debbie, thank you for saying that. I will. I will do with the with the tiny little finishing sponge by Dixie Belle. I will just take that very lightly. Not, I'm not gonna sand it. I'm not gonna sand it. I'm just gonna take the finishing sponge and I start on one side and I will just go from left to right and lift it up. Same again, left to right and lift it up. And all that does is it takes off that sort of a built up chalk fill that's on chalk paint. And then I will wipe it off with a lint free cloth. And then, oh, Carol, Carol wanted to know about color. Okay, sorry, y'all have just a second. Uh, we have these spoons and people like to talk about color. Um, do you, I don't, I don't put any, you can though. Debbie's asking if I tint my gator hide with the black and you can do that. And I'll, I'm happy to do that tomorrow if you want to, but I don't do that. Um, got another gumball machine to paint. I'm so excited for you. Um, oh, you should, Shay, it's so much fun. Oh my gosh, I've done probably probably 500 vintage bedroom sets. Probably more than that. Probably more than that. I wish I knew. I wish I, I wish I had been keeping record all these years. Let me grab my spoons for Carol. She's asking a question about some color. I'll be right back. Okay. So Dixie Bell makes these spoons and me as a brand ambassador, um, I have the whole set. This is every color that Dixie Bell carries. And um, 
people that follow along here like to <laughs> look see audrey over here on facebook's going oh yay spoons yay okay let's see melissa's working on her gumball machine i paint these gumball machines if you see me over here on instagram i post them often um, and we had a gumball machine class online on sunday night and had over a hundred women um, in that class so holly it's okay it's too late to join the class to sign up for the class that was live but the class is available on video and we will be posting that this week so make sure you're following along um, and we'll be announcing that it is available for anyone that wants to purchase the class it'll be the pre-recorded version it's just as good it's just as good and it was supposed to be a two-hour class it ended up being a three hour and 20 minute class so you're getting your money's worth and we didn't BS we worked hard I worked hard the whole time so okay let's see um, you won't be able to tell the difference Brittany's asking for caviar and midnight sky you, you really seriously cannot tell the difference on the spoon this is just deeper this is caviar this is midnight sky see one looks a little charcoal this is caviar this is midnight sky see the difference this one's a deep black this one's more of like a what do you even call what, what would you say that the difference is let me get up close this one's deeper this I don't know they're very 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 similar um, um, um. okay so what color did you want again Carol new feature spooning with <laughs> Lisa that is hilarious Lisa just said spooning with Tracy. Who would like to spoon with Tracy? That is a dangerous question. Barn red, rustic red, daisy, and coffee bean. All right, so I've got, oh, that's honky tonk. Hold on. Hold on. Barn red, that's muscadine. Colonel Mustard, little yellow. Where is my daisy? These lights make everything look so weird. It's lemonade. Little yellow. What happened to my daisy, y'all? Did I already pull it out? Okay, my spooning. Oh, it's in my hand. Okay, <laughs> it's in my hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, coffee bean. Where's coffee bean? Nope, that's gravel road. Collard greens. Um, I'm just gonna take them out. It's easier. This is easier. <laughs> wow. Maybe I don't have coffee bean. What the heck? That's chocolate. Y'all are looking at the top of my head. Color greens. I don't have coffee bean. I don't know why. I don't know why. Leslie, you bought my I don't know why. It's black. Okay, so just like the name Inky, but not full black. Midnight Sky. Inky is good. I like that. I do like that. Okay, so this is Rustic Red, Carol. This is Barn Red. And this is Daisy. Hold on. There we go. Barn red, rustic red, and daisy. Barn red, rustic red, rustic barn daisy. Rustic barn daisy. And I don't know what the heck. I don't know why I don't have coffee bean. I think that was a color that they added later and must not have been in this original spoons. So. Or maybe I gave it, loaned it out to someone. I know I had it. Anyway, I don't have coffee bean. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm so glad I found your page. I'm a newbie and so nervous to even paint my first piece out of fear. Oh, I, I lost it. Oh, she's afraid. Hold on. She's the kind of people I like to talk to. Uh, paint my first piece out of fear that I'll mess up. So I'll keep watching until I get enough courage. Yes. That's my goal, that's my goal, is to teach you how to step out of your comfort zone and face your fear and just go for it. It's only paint, it's just paint. Start simple, don't have some big, huge, well thought out plan because you will set yourself up for failure. Get good paint, a decent brush, 
someone that you've watched online, get yourself some videos and go for it. Let's see, I think coffee bean may be a good blend on the daisy, but are the reds too close together? Um, no, they're a good, well, I don't know what you're using it for, but it's a great tone on tone. It's a great two tones of red. Um, blend on the daisy. You wanna blend coffee bean on the daisy? Have you ever, did, what about Colonel Mustard? Colonel Mustard is a great shade, a shadow on the daisy. Have you ever thought about that? I'm looking at him. Uh, oh, Lorraine, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh, Betty's saying, okay, so that I must that must be why I don't have one. Um, do I have to see in my first piece? Linda. Oh, Carol, Harlequin pattern. Oh, this would be gorgeous. This would be gorgeous, Harlequin. Really, seriously. Uh, Here's Rusty Nail and Honky Tonk Red as well. So, no, they're good. I think that's good. I think you could do that. I think that'd be beautiful on Harlequin. I love a good tone on tone. I love a tone on tone. A stripe, Harlequin, check, tone on tone. I love it. Uh, Linda, do you have to sand your first piece? Probably not. Dixie Belle paint paints anything it just depends i mean you don't need to sand or prep for the most part it depends on what your piece is what it's got on it what the uh, condition of the piece is um that's a loaded question you need a hot pink what color that be that would be peony right here top five favorite colors top five favorite colors peony i love peony it is fabulous it's a fabulous fabulous color it is very very hot pink it's a great color uh hey dana oh hi sweet dana good to see you hun and then what for a third color you're asking with the rustic red and the barn red um how about antebellum have you thought about that how about an antebellum blue thrown in there? Is that too too much? You want to stay super earthy? What you think? Peony is gorgeous. I love it. Um, yeah, I love antebellum blue. Uh, palmetto. How about palmetto? Palmetto is really good. Palmetto would be good. Is that too Christmassy? Um, what about? Yeah, I think I like, how about one of these, like sea glass or vintage duck egg? How about one of these? Deep red with touches of gold. So you don't want to bring any other big, strong color in. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do the yellow then if you've got touches of gold. Anyone have any suggestions for her? I like these if you want to bring another color in that's light. If you wanted to keep it, uh, you know, you could always just go with like drop cloth as well and then accent with gold. Ooh, that is not, there we go. You could go with the drop cloth. I'm thinking collard greens with the reds would be too, uh, too Christmassy. Although it does look black. Let me see. Here's collard greens. Collard greens looks kind of black. Collard greens, I think it's too dark. I think it's too dark. But anyway, that's, at least you got your reds. You got your reds. Okay, anybody else have any questions about, about spoons? Any, any questions? Y'all want to know my top three favorite colors? Right here. These are Tracy's fancy top three favorite colors. Except black and white, because y'all know I also love black and white. Uh, you like... Aubergine. Oh, we must be getting some bad weather. The weather thing keeps coming up on my phone. Anyway, guys, I won't keep y'all anymore. Thank you all. Um, I'll look at mixes Dixie Bell has on their site. Use gold shimmer glaze or moonshine over one of the reds. Ooh, that's pretty, Denise. Carol, did you see that? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. Can I paint laminate for mica? Absolutely, Monica, you sure can, but you need to use a product that we have called Slick Stick. Come on, Mike. Uh, slick stick on Formica. Always, always. 
My favorite beiges are drop cloth, which I just held up. Beiges show terrible on the screen, but they are drop cloth, which is right here. And I also love sawmill gravy. Where is it? Where's my sawmill? <clears throat> well, I'm struggling tonight, you guys. It's this ring light makes them kind of a weird, it makes them a different color. It's hard to, hard to see. Well, I love um, drop cloth. Here's a real white and here's drop cloth. This is drop cloth. I don't know if you can see that. You're so funny. Uh, Y'all are so funny. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, throw a second coat on this piece over here and get the tops done um, so I can go in for the night because I am done, and I'll be back out here tomorrow morning putting a top coat on them. So what was the color you did? Your son's bedroom, please. Um, I need the look but cannot remember. Holly, if you will go to tracysfancy.com, I'm going to tell you how to go right there, and you'll get all the colors. Tracy'sFancy.com, T-R-A-C-E-Y-S-F-A-N-C-Y.com. Go to there. Go on the main, when you go to my main page, in the top left corner, there's a search bar. Type in that search bar, Master Bedroom. And any blog that I've ever done about a master bedroom is going to come up. And his name is Brody. It's going to come up. His One of the pictures will come up. Click on that picture, and it'll tell you all, everything that we used in his room. Okay? Um, I know it does sound like that, doesn't it? I thought that too. It sounds like wooden, wooden blocks. Do kids play with wooden blocks anymore? People got their babies playing video games already, you know? Don't even get me started. Okay. Beautiful, right? I love it. I'm going to be doing this. Be the only glam that's on these pieces. Okay, guys, y'all have a wonderful night, and I will, um, yay, I'm so glad. We will see y'all uh, tomorrow probably, sometime live, okay? Otherwise, I'll see y'all on Friday morning, okay? We'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.